I first realized that there was a relationship, an important functional relationship between chemistry and biology when I was an undergraduate studying chemistry. Uh, at the time, very few people had made that connection. And in possibly the only real insight I've had in my whole life, it became absolutely clear to me that the two disciplines would eventually merge. And it has been tremendously powerful in providing an opportunity for chemistry to do something really useful uh, outside of chemistry where it can do things useful and to be among those who study the interactions of organelles that we might consider to be fundamentally biological with small molecules that have you know, important effects in impacting the way that those biological systems work. A key element of many forms of neurodegeneration is focused on an organelle from the body uh, called the uh, mitochondrion, which is the center of production of most of the energy that we use in our bodies. Our goal is to apply an understanding of how the mitochondrion works and how it sometimes becomes dysfunctional to allow us to probe neurodegeneration in its various forms, in its several diseases in which it appears, to try and see how we could ameliorate some of the issues with the mitochondrion related to its role in helping to drive neurodegeneration. Being in biodesign uh, has been a huge help. Being in an environment where there are people who are committed to moving things forward is enormously helpful to your motivation and to creating an environment where you can learn and create solutions to important problems. It's nice to be able to step back and see that there's been progress, not only in the things that you were working on, some of them due to you, some of them due to colleagues elsewhere, but that you've been able to make a technical impact that's done some good in the world. Uh, you get to see that you led a group of students who learned, who produced things of value, who then went off to do the same thing of their own in different places, on different subjects. And it gives you time to reflect that you actually appear to have accomplished something, which is a good feeling. My biggest hope uh, in spite of all the time I've been at this, is that I'm not done. Uh, I'm working on two or three things. Some I talk about more than others. They all have one thing in common. They're not trivial problems. Uh, they need solutions. There are opportunities to cure cancers of a type that are currently intractable. Um, the odds are against our being successful. And I'm working on several of them in the hope that one or perhaps more than one actually will be successful while I have time to do it.